he thinks that is Vice President uh, Trump, she's a pretty good. Right, right. And then Zelensky <laughs> is Putin, you know, because it all just yeah. makes sense in Biden's yeah. mind. And he talked a lot about building up the arms uh, industry in Europe to keep this war going on forever. It's a NATO summit. And there's no talk of peace or ending right. the war, the Russia-Ukraine war. It's just building more uh, munitions. Well, and look, he started the NATO's, this NATO summit press conference by hitting Trump. It became a campaign speech That's very, right. very quickly. Yeah. And then he taught, said the vice president was Trump. But that's, you know, that's a whole different story. But look, the reality is, is what we're witnessing in the Democrat Party um, is, is pure chaos, is the fact that they do feel that uh, Biden cannot get to the finish line. However, Biden did prove yesterday that he's going to survive. He's going to try to survive this. He's going to try to survive these fights that you're finding. But normally the Democrats are 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 not big leakers. They normally fall in line. Mm -hmm. Everyone just follows, you know, the candidate. We saw this with Hillary Clinton and Obama. Right. This is not what we're seeing with Joe Biden. We, we have seen the Democrat Party off the rails. And quite frankly, he is not going to step down anytime soon. I'm so sorry, especially knowing that the Republican National Convention is happening next week. Do you actually think that Joe Biden will, you know, give give the Republicans a win for that? I don't see that happening. And I see that you're seeing that even the campaign is saying, look, there, we're in a margin of error. We can totally win. Mm -hmm. There's three states, Wisconsin, right. Pennsylvania, Michigan. So mm -hmm. they're in it for the, they're not, he's not going anywhere. Yeah, margin of error, you got mail out ballots and drop boxes and, exactly. you know, blue to latex gloves. And, but honestly, uh, Jonathan, the long knives are out, the short knives are out. Uh, you know, there are IDs along the side of the road and uh, the Democrats, uh, you know, they're dealing with a ruthless, uh, power-hungry bunch of people who will destroy the world for uh, one more seat in the Senate. Yeah, it's pretty amazing watching all of this go down because what was the real revelation with this debate? It's like everyone has known this for so long that he is not competent, not able to do the job. And the fact that all the media all of a sudden is... is sort of honing in on us and, and discovering it is pretty amazing. I saw, I think, on uh, CNN, Carl Bernstein from Watergate fame was talking about sources that he has. These are sources that said Biden has had these episodes before behind closed doors. It's like, it's pretty amazing that that, that counts as journalism these days. It's yeah. like we have sources to tell us that it was hot this week. Right. Go to Carl Bernstein. <laughs> right. but, but it is pretty funny because <clears throat> Biden earned this nomination, and I think that he's digging his heels in, and I think it's finally dawned on him that they They've looked at him as the left has looked at him as sort of the useful idiot for the left all this time. And, you know, he may be an idiot, but but I think he doesn't want to he doesn't want to admit it. And, you know, to, to see Not that the... and to see the way he's being treated by his own party uh -huh. when he earned the nomination is really uh -huh. disgraceful. Well, he's an but... idiot, but he's uh, he's the idiot of uh, at least a portion of his party. I think when Carl Bernstein dies, his tombstone is going to say Carl Bernstein of Watergate fame. Yeah. I think it's going to be engraved on there. Last night, Biden uh, sort of left the door open for stepping aside. If your team came back and showed you data that she would fare better against former President Donald Trump, would you reconsider your decision to stay in the race? No, unless they came back and said, there's no way you can win. Me. No one's saying that. No poll says that. He's whispering again. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, there's no way you can win. Uh, it, uh, it, it's a crazy time, isn't it? And uh, especially for Democrats. Well, it certainly is. And I like when Jonathan was saying about, oh, everybody's known this. I think to that point, I think he hasn't had a proper full cabinet meeting since October 2nd of 2023. That's right. So I think a lot of people in his administration might have thought it, but even they weren't exposed to it. And really, it was only finally on display to the American public. And I think, don't forget, people watch Newsmax and there are certain demographics watch the right side. But a lot of people who don't hear any of this, this is right. why it was a shock, because this was a public debate. And That's with right. regard to those sound bites and the slip, those gaffes, they went around the world like a rocket. People elect presidents on sound bites. I like Ike. It's the economy, stupid. Are you better off than you were four years ago? And those sound bites are yeah. going to stick. Yeah, and uh, yeah, what Joe Biden's slogan will be, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, something whispered. It will be quiet. Something whispered, I think. <laughs>